So how many languages do you speak? I speak English, Portuguese, and some Spanish. I guess I can understand Spanish because I speak Portuguese, so it's pretty much the same thing. Oh, okay. Which one would you say you're better at between English and Portuguese? Com certeza português. Inglês eu ainda tô aprendendo, tem algumas coisas que eu não entendo, mas a gente I, tá tentando. I'm gonna assume that you speak Portuguese better. What hobbies do you have? Making videos is my hobby, but I am blessed to say that it's my job now, so I'll probably say playing basketball. I love playing basketball. From a scale of 0 to 10, how good are you in basketball? Seven. <laughs> Seven? What is your like best move? Pretty good at shooting. So why social media? For a lot of reasons, but one of them is because I really needed a visa. I didn't want to get married, or actually I didn't find anyone to get married. Like, I have to figure this out. So, I started social media, and I got a visa, thanks to you guys. If you were not doing social media, what would you be doing? Uh, I'll probably be a nutritionist. I really like to study food and how that affects our bodies. I don't know, that's something that I'm very into. A lot of people that do social media, they end up doing OnlyFans. I noticed that you don't have an OnlyFans. Why is that? I don't have an OnlyFans. I don't think that it's something that matches what I want to bring to people. No shame on anyone who does, but I just don't feel like it's the right path for me. So what is the right path for you? I like to uplift people, to bring them to a better place than they were before. I don't think OnlyFans would do that. Maybe they'll do that for the first three minutes or less, and then it's just going to bring you down. More than one of your fans mentioned that they noticed that it seemed like you were a Christian. Uh, and they wanted to know more about your journey in, in spirituality. I was raised Catholic and I do have a relationship with God. And I would say that it started when I was very little and I had a supernatural experience that I'm probably not going to go into details here, but that's just something that made me see. So I can't tell you that I have the choice to say, oh, I believe in it or I don't believe in it. It's just that once you see it, it is what it is, like I can't go against it anymore. So that's just something that started my faith journey. How tall are you? I know a lot of people say that I look really tall, but I'm actually 5'5". Five five. That's pretty tall. It's not short, I'm not short, but people think that I'm like six feet. Wow. I know. In your whole life, how hard has it been for you to make friends? Growing up, I would make friends pretty easily, but right now I don't have a lot of friends. I could probably count my friends in one hand or actually less than that. <laughs> but it's the time that I feel the happiest and the fullest, even though I have the least amount of friends. And the time in my life that I had so many friends, I was definitely not the happiest. What would you say the difference is between yourself then and now? I'm definitely a lot more of myself today than I was before. Also because I didn't really know who I was at the time. I feel like I was still trying to figure out what I like, what I don't. And I was just trying to follow whatever my friends were doing. That's not really what you want to do. What is your dream car? I don't know. Every time I look at Corvette, I'm like, ooh, that looks so cool. Maybe a Corvette. I don't have a Corvette yet, but I do have a chair that makes me feel like I'm sitting in one. It has so many features that I even thought I broke the chair, but it's actually part of it. It's super easy to build it, it's durable, and honestly, the best chair I've ever had. If you spend a lot of time sitting at home, it's important to invest in something that will not only be an upgrade, but will make your life better. The little pillow that it comes with is so incredibly soft. I remember with my other chairs, my neck would always hurt because the pillow would be too high or too low and I couldn't do anything about it. It. But with this one, I can actually adjust it however I want it. Even if you're under four feet, that should be fine. <laughs> so if you want this upgrade, the link is going to be in the description below. Okay. Now, come here. Have you ever had any surgeries? I have not. And I honestly wouldn't have any unless if it's like a health reason. But if it's not, I wouldn't do it. People that don't know who you are, how do you think they react to when they see you filming out in public? <sighs> It's so embarrassing. When I'm recording in public, which is a lot of my videos, people look at me, they think I'm crazy. It's so embarrassing, but I gotta pay my bills. That's the path I chose. It's an obstacle I had to face. What are your thoughts on sex and society's perception of having multiple sex partners? I believe sex is meant to be done with one person and the person you love. 
and you want to be with for the rest of your life. I understand a lot of people disagree with that, but that's what I believe and I think that that's what will make you happy. You get attached emotionally to that person once you have sex and you could say, oh no, I don't, I don't care. If you do it with like a hundred people, you're gonna be emotionally, you have a soul tie with a hundred people and that is not gonna be good. It's not just a feeling, but it's a commitment and it's a choice that you make. That's my belief. Anyways. Are you in a relationship right now? If someone comes up and I fall in love, I'm down, but currently I'm single. So do you get recognized a lot in public? Uh, it happened a couple of times. It's always really fun when it happens. I wouldn't say it happens a lot, but I love it when it does. The most recent one was actually this little girl. She was, I think, maybe 10. She just looked at me and she was like, oh, can I have a hug? And she was just the sweetest. How do you deal with uh, negative comments? Section. like hate, hateful comments yeah yeah i think about it like is this valid like are they actually making a point that is valid and if it is then i take it and try to get better but if it's a comment that has no foundation and it's not valid at all then i just ignore it what is one of the most difficult things about social media for you that's a very hard question why because I just love it. I wouldn't say it's the easiest thing, right? Every day I have to be constantly thinking of ideas or the next video or what I can do better next time. It's hard because it takes a lot of my time, but it's so pleasurable. So I, I don't know, it's hard to answer that. What are some of your favorite things about social media? I love editing videos. How long have you been doing that? Mm, about a year now. What gives you inspiration for your videos? Like, how do you come up with ideas? Oh my god, I love this question! <laughs> Have you seen the trend? <laughs> okay. Cut. Never mind. If you haven't seen that trend, <laughs> you're not gonna understand. <laughs> but yeah, I love this question because it's so funny. A lot of the videos is actually my own life, like something that I've experienced that comes to my mind. I'm like, oh my god, I have to record this. Or something that I'm living at the moment and I just experienced this is just stupid or crazy or i don't know i have to record this or i go to the place and i look at the scenario and then something comes into my mind in the scenario or my teammate comes up with the idea he has great ideas and we love recording those too and who's your videographer who goes around filming with me yeah it's you it's you boy wait let me come here this is my teammate victor do you want to say a word yeah, you know, in your journey through life, um, whatever it is that you want, I just want to let you know that it took me a long time to get to where I am. Even though it's not even that far, you know, I'm very grateful. And it took me probably longer than most people. So if you're on your journey, just know that everybody's timetable is different. And as long as you know what you want and you go after it, the most important thing is that one day you find it. See, man, he's so good with words. I, I don't even know what to say. And do you have any, like, hidden talents? I do actually, I can sound like a tractor. You are full of surprises, Victoria. <laughs> All right, and what is something, what is like the first thing that you learned how to cook from your grandma? I learned how to cook chocolate cakes and it's the best chocolate cake I've ever had in my life. I miss her so much. Tell me about your childhood. My childhood was amazing from zero to nine years old. And then my dad passed away, my mom got really sick, and a lot of things happened. I kind of lost myself in my teen years. But I found myself back, and here I am. Okay, because we always get back up. What did you think you were going to do one day? I remember I loved dancing when I was little. I loved singing too. I loved taking care of plants. That's why I thought I was actually going to be a gardener. That was my first thing on the list. I was like, I'm going to be a gardener. That's what I thought I was going to be. What is something that you would, if you could go back in time, what is a, one piece of advice you would tell yourself? You are protected. Don't be afraid. What is something that you would say you were afraid of? Uh, well, when my dad passed and my mom got sick, I was alone at home for a long, long, long time. And just me and my sister, thankfully I had my sister. I kind of forgot what happened in that time, but I was scared, you know, at night, didn't have anyone. Like if I had a nightmare, there was no one to run to. So that was a bad thing. Flash forward when you're like 99 and you got all these wrinkles on your face. 99 What are three old. things you want to look back in your life and be able to say when you're 99? That I've accomplished what I came here for. Two Have more. That feeling. Oh, two more? Three yeah, things? Yeah, you got three things. Oh, 
But honestly, that already grabs everything that I need because I believe that we all have a mission. We all came here with a purpose and we need to accomplish it. If I have the feeling that I didn't, that's gonna be really bad. What are some advices that you can give to anybody out there that's like looking to succeed in social media? My advice for you to be successful is find something you love and stick to it get better everything is already done like even if you try to do something different something new something that has never been done i feel like nowadays everything has been done but just do it better better than everybody in the market everybody else out there do your best make sure you love what you're doing because if you don't your life's gonna suck doesn't matter how much money you get specifically with social media an advice i would say is be very consistent and try to learn what your audience likes. Like if a video that you post have more views than others, try to understand why that video has more views than others and try to not copy the same idea, but something about that video because that's what people liked you for in the first place. What would you say is one of your biggest mistakes you've made in your journey of social media? Something that you wish you could have done differently? Not do the videos I did on TikTok, some videos. I was just so desperate into being able to get my visa, build a platform so I could not stress out about losing my visa. I kind of went against my values a little bit. I, I didn't do anything crazy, right? Like I was just doing TikTok dances, but in some videos, I think I did a little bit too much. And what would you say is the next thing on the horizon? Like what is something that you would like to accomplish in the near future? I want to open a nonprofit, but that's probably a little further on. The near future, I'm definitely focusing a lot on YouTube, being the best I can on YouTube and in my life. <laughs> you said that you considered doing nutrition if you didn't succeed in social media, right? Do you have any passion for like, I don't know, like skincare or beauty products or anything like that? I love doing my skincare. I actually want to open up my own brand. I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but that's something I have in mind. What would you say is one piece of advice that you would give to people that were on a budget, that were like looking to improve or take care of their skin? Make sure your skin is always hydrated. Wash your face before you go to bed. Don't leave your makeup on if you have it on. Make sure to have some days of the week that you just don't have any makeup on. Let your skin breathe. Yeah. I'd say these are two tips that helped me. What's one piece of advice that you would like to share with everybody? Always be yourself. Don't let others put you in a box. And don't be afraid to follow your values. Don't be afraid of not having friends. Sometimes not having friends is the best thing you could ever do because sometimes everyone around you is just not going to make you a better person. So being alone have it's great great benefits and in the right time the right people will show up if you stick to who you really are this this following question is gonna throw you off what do you think the meaning of life is become the best version of yourself evoluir how to say evoluir evoluir evolution like to, to evolve 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 to evolve into your best version how do you evolve as a virgin but you evolve to your best version. Oh, you're very, oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. All of these are questions that you guys asked me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.